Hey everyone, welcome to the weekly reading for Pisces. I hope you guys are all doing amazing. Sending all of you love and light. So we have forgiveness. So it says, let go of resentment, forgive yourself and others so you can restore peace in your heart and love again. We have change. It says, be willing to let go of what you plan to have, life that is waiting for you. We have fears. It says, despite how dark things appear, light is breaking through. Be brave and find a way through it. Okay. And we have faith. Have faith in the universe. Let it impress you with its magic. Enjoy the beautiful journey. Okay, clarify forgiveness. Hidden blessing. So, things are not always what they seem. You'll soon realize that it all worked out for your highest good. Mm -hmm. You're about to realize that everything... It's like you're going to be like getting to the point where you're no longer angry. You're no longer mad if it's a specific person. Like you're going to forgive them. You're no longer angry or mad at them or holding a grudge against them or whatever. But because you're going to realize that everything happened for the way that it was supposed to. And it happened for your highest good. Like you're no longer going to be harboring that anger or resentment or even towards yourself. Like maybe you guys are being hard on yourself about decisions you've made or, you know, things that you've done but spirit says you're going to start realizing like you were learning you were growing everything happened the way that it was supposed to and you're going to realize that everything um you know something was possibly a hidden blessing here to maybe enact some type of change clarify change we have health yeah so like whatever this change is so you guys could be having like a change in like your health mental emotional physical whatever it says making body changes and staying committed to working out will lift your mood and bring more joy into your life i did see pampering and that card talks about self-care so Maybe, think, maybe all of this happened to, you know, bring you back to yourself, to get you to, you know, pour more into yourself or focus on yourself more so that you can improve yourself, so that you can grow and so that you can feel better and do better and all those things. So, clarify fears. We have travel. I, why was I already knew I I was thinking in my head before I even started the camera that some of you guys would be traveling soon or like going on a vacation or something like that. I've been actually picking up on that a lot in my collectives. Um, but it says there's a strong desire to wander or travel and explore the world. It's time you do expect to travel soon. Maybe some of you guys have a fear of like, for some of you, it's like exploring the waters, like, you know, maybe getting out there and dating again. Some of you guys have had a fear of that. Others of you, you've had a fear of like traveling or going like too far away from home or something like that or embarking on a new journey. But let's see. Clarify faith. You have happiness. So they're telling you to take a leap of faith here. Or they're not take a leap, but it says to have faith. Because you have happiness. Positive energy flowing into your life or around you at this time. Yeah, stay optimistic. There's a lot of good coming your way. Okay, anything else that they need to know? We have chakras. So some of you guys can benefit from getting Reiki done. It says your chakras are out of balance. Align your internal energies to help release physical and emotional blockages. We have hobbies. It says hobbies are a great way to distract you from worries and troubles. Create a roadmap and turn your hobby into a side hustle. We have home. Your home tells your story. It's the foundation of your life. Bless your home to bring more peace, love, and light. And we have lessons. Yeah, it's like you've been learning lessons, even if they've been difficult. It's like you're just going to have more grace with yourself. Like, I was learning and I was growing, you know. I'm, you know, I'm not perfect. I'm a human. You're learning spiritual lessons that will assist you in your journey to spiritual growth. Be patient with yourself. Or it's like that, you know, this is everybody's first, or this is like everyone's first time living this lifetime. This is everyone's first time on earth this lifetime. So, you know, you know, we're going to make mistakes. We're not going to be perfect. We're not going to make the best decisions sometimes. Or we're not going to know the best decisions to make sometimes. The only way we learn, you know, are able to do better is through learning these difficult lessons um, and applying them, you know, going forward. So, anything else? We have family. Okay, what about family? And we have fertility. Oh, some of you guys may be having a child here soon or expanding your family in some type of way it could be a fur baby i don't know but it says there's a, this is the perfect time to start a new project fall in love change jobs and give birth to a new abundant life okay so some of you guys are gonna be maybe um yeah the stars shoot for the stars don't you dare settle for fine set your sights higher you deserve better there's something here that they're not wanting you to settle for yeah sexual uh, just a purely sexual connection what does it see here we go <laughs> Yeah, and be careful with that too, because with this fertility and the family, and you may end up like getting yourself into a situation, if you know what I mean, that you maybe not, is not the best situation to get into right now. 
Yeah, you're maybe focusing too much on one thing or person that you're failing to see there's other great options, inspiration. Tell me more. What is this energy of like, what's getting rejected here? So Spirit says something's not over, but it, there is this energy of them wanting you to kind of like open up your your options or they wanting you to explore other options. Like even if it isn't romantic, like, you know, like they just want you to explore. They're not, it's like some of you guys have been wanting to settle down and be in a family situation or something like that. But Spirit says that maybe it's not quite the time for that yet. You will end up settling down with somebody, but it's not the right time for you guys to settle down yet because we have this unfolding energy. You close a chapter in your life. However, the story is not over. Give it time to unfold and see it through the end. Like there's a need to close the door on a situation right now because if you were to accept whatever this is right now, you would be settling. It would be dimming you. It would be it would be stifling your potential. And like there's certain things that you need to maybe make, manifest or work on into, like by yourself before you settle down and... It's like the situation is only going to be a, a hold, hold you back right now. So, yes, they know that, you know, there's maybe love and whatever the situation is or your heart's in it. You yeah, reveal your heart's calling. You have everything you need. And now is the time to follow your heart's desire and do what? Thoughts. Keep your thoughts positive and move past your limiting beliefs and raise your energy to raise your vibrations. What about heart calling? What is, what's their heart calling at this? Yeah, good luck. Luck is on your side. Everything you touch will turn into gold and masterpieces. Okay, we have blessings. A major life change will bring you great blessings. Prepare for the unexpected. This is a magical moment. Yeah, see, there's something about, there's somebody here that has your heart or that you have your feelings and emotions invested in it or it's just like something that you love and you're passionate about. But it's like, you, there's something like about a situation where it keeps repeating and it's not getting any better and it's not for your highest good. And that if you keep going towards this person or this situation right now, it's going to just keep re being repetitive, like destructive cycles. So there's a need to, yeah, there's a need to step into your power and free yourself. Yeah, free, because it says there isn't, with, without freedom, there is no creation. Let th your spirit take flight. Yeah, they're telling you to free yourself from like a cycle. Yeah, that's been holding you back. That you've been like waiting on somebody to change or something like that. You've been waiting for things to change within a situation to improve. But I think you guys are maybe starting to realize that like it's not going to or it's just not going to happen right now. And by you waiting on this person, you've missed out on maybe better romantic options, a better job opportunity, a better, you know, just other like, oppor like other opportunities in your life by waiting for something to change and improve. So I feel like it's Spirit says the only thing that you like what they're telling you to do is to let it go, at least for right now. I don't think it's forever because I saw weight and I saw reconciliation. So, and it's like, they're wanting you to kind of level up within yourself too. Like they're wanting you to like, yeah, support. Someone will enter your life to help you who has the potential to become someone significant in your life. What is support? It's journey. Like you, whoever this person is, you and this person were supposed to meet. Like it, it's, it was fated for the two of you to meet possibly even end up together at some point but it's just like you you're not ready they're not ready either some of you guys it's like spirit is saying that they want you to not focus on how much this person's not ready spirit says they want you to focus on how actually you're not as ready as you think you are that's what kind of what i'm getting it's like spirit says you guys are both not ready you may not be you know in the same energy as them or not ready to the degree that they are but Spirit is saying that there's still things that you should that they want you to accomplish or work on. 10 10 on the camera. So yeah, exactly. It's like when the time is right, the reconciliation will present itself. But there's a need for you to like step into your power, exert your power, and like close out a cycle here. Because there's some type of there's some type of repeating cycle, something that keeps happening over and over again, and it's stifling you, it's holding you back, it's it's hurting you. It's 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 hindering your progress. It's it's blocking your manifestations. Um and spirit's not wanting that for you any longer. So they're wanting you to and the fact if and if spirit's saying every time you went back into that situation was showing them that you weren't ready. Like you weren't really ready for what it is that you wanted, because if you were really like ready for the family and the stability and the long term, the marriage and all those things. You wouldn't have gone back to this situation because whatever this situation is, is it was obviously something that couldn't lead to those things. So Spirit was saying every time you went back, you were showing them that you hadn't learned your lesson. Or at least going back to this situation or person when it was in the state that it was in. When there was red flags or you could tell that this person hadn't changed. You could tell that that job was toxic or whatever the situation is. 
The spirit says every time you go back, you're showing them you're not ready. At least the way that things are right now. I do feel like there will come a time, like after there's some change. It's like you need to commit to working on yourself and they need to commit to working on themselves or whatever the situation is. Yeah, we have nine of pentacles. Yeah, Spirit says like now is a time for you to be single. I know some of you guys don't want to hear that, but yeah, we have the king of wands here. Aries, Leo, Sag energy. This person could possibly just want to be single. Whoever this energy is, if this is you. We have death. Yeah, Scorpio energy. Or somebody needs to be single and go through a transformation process, focus on themselves. Yeah, Queen of Swords. Oh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Clarify the Nine of Pentacles. We have the Three of Swords. Somebody has gone through a breakup or an ending of a relationship. I'm kind of getting that there's some cycle. There's a cycle that needs to end too. There's a cycle that has been open, and open that has been blocking one from truly beginning between and for you or between you and somebody else. So there's somebody going through a breakup here. Tell about the King of Wands. The nine of swords. Somebody's stressed out. Maybe this person's stressed out about the fact that you guys are broken up. Time about death. Yeah, the seven of wands. Death and the seven of wands. Somebody, something is blocking someone's transformation and growth. Or somebody's trying to keep an ending from happening here. Clarify the queen of swords. We have the three of pentacles. Okay, what's the Queen of Swords and the Three of Pentacles? We have the Lovers. You know, I'm telling you, you guys know that this person has a choice in Lovers or something like that. Like, you guys have some type of clarity here that this person needs to end something else. They need to become completely single from whatever the situation. They're stressed out. I don't, I'm going to see about that in a minute, but they're stressed out about it. But you know that there's an ending that needs to occur because right now there's like something, there's an obstacle or a blockage that needs to end. And you guys are aware of this. Yeah, what is the Wheel of Fortune? There's a decision that needs to be made. Five of Pentacles, okay? Something's changing. Yeah, and the Four of Pentacles. Somebody releasing something that they were holding on to. So what is this? This could even be you guys were holding on tightly to this person when they weren't really able to have something with you. And I feel like that's maybe changing. What is it? Why is this person in the King of Swords and I mean the King of Wands and the Nine of Swords energy? The Page of Swords, something that they're seeing or finding out is is um making them stressed out, making them lose sleep. What is that? The Hierophant, Taurus energy. What about the Hierophant and the Eight of Pentacles? Okay, and the Eight of Wands. This person feels like they need to quickly try to build something with you because this person feels like something you have changed. They feel like you you're no longer holding on to them you're releasing them you're walking away from them they're you're abandoning them and they're stressed out because they feel like they need to quickly start to build build or work on a commitment with you they're finding out like yeah the queen of wands Aries Leo Sag energy and the world they feel like they have to quickly end another situation and like offer you something stable and committed because you guys are in this energy where you're no longer holding on to a situation that you that is keeping you stuck blocking your blessings blocking your progress and it's not going anywhere so now this person feels like this urgency yeah the eight of swords they are stressed guys they are stressed because they know they have to get their shit together pronto all right three of wands yeah they were waiting or they were like yeah six of wands what are they waiting for the what's the three of wands the two of pentacles they've been waiting because they've been indecisive about whether or not that it's like they've been like on the cusp of ending something but just not doing it completely temperance they've been waiting temperance energy being patient the devil this person knows that they need to um heal they know that they're toxic they know they have addictions and obsessions or whatever attachments that they need to work on or heal but why is the six of wands here six of wands the king of swords The two of swords and the sun. What's what's coming to light here? The page of pentacles. Somebody was optimistic that you guys would have a new opportunity or something like that to. Yeah, this person thought they were going to have another chance with you, judgment. But now they're stressed out because, ooh, because you stepped into your empress energy. You know your worth now. Isn't that something? 
this person is stressed out because they know that you really, I saw the crowning card earlier. I don't know what I just did with that deck that I was just using, but the crowning card came out and that card talks about you stepping into your divine feminine, divine masculine energy. This person knows that you have stepped into that energy. They know that you know your worth, that you know your worth. You're not going to settle. They know that it's like you really are in your divine feminine, masculine energy. And it's like, it's almost like this person feels like you're outgrowing them or you're leveling up past them too far. Like to the point where you wouldn't want to have another opportunity with them or another chance with them. Guys, there, there's a loud truck outside. So, yeah. We have the Queen of Cups. Yeah, this person knows that you're in this energy of self-love. Ooh, strength. They feel like you are strong. You're in your power. Yeah, and the Five of Cups. And they're in regret. They're in regret. They know that they disappointed you too. They feel like... Yeah, they are having, um, oh, this person feels like you are maybe letting them go and embarking on new love. And I feel like that's what spirit is actually wanting you to do is be open to these new possibilities or these new opportunities coming in. Like you're exploring your options, like you're open to new love. You're, you're in this energy where you're like, okay, I'm ready for a new beginning. Like I'm ready for a clean slate. And this person is stressed out. Okay. Four of Wands, Page of Wands, Knight of Swords. Um, somebody is coming in to talk to you though. Yeah. Two of Wands. The King of Pentacles, the Hermit. After like they've been doing a lot of contemplating. Yeah. What is this person coming in to talk about here? I feel like this person is coming in to talk to you because they want to see like what their next course of action is gonna be. Although I think they already know that you're kind of leaving them behind. You guys are done waiting on this person. Like, you've waited long enough, and you're ready for a new love, and they're stressed. This person was under the impression that you were waiting on them, and that you guys would just get back together, or you would give them another chance, or there would be, like, a red, like, you guys would, it just, y'all would reconcile, or something like that, and let's see. Maybe they like came in or they will come in to kind of just see where you're at. And it's like, they like, they feel you out to see like what they're going to do. It's like, if they come in and you, you just let willing them, let willingly let them come back. They don't, they're like, you know, oh, well, you know, I can just, we can just, I don't have to make any changes. Things can just stay this way and I can just leave whenever I want to. But like, I think they came in and they, you were presenting a different energy to them or this is what will happen. And it's making them realize, yep, look at this. It's making them see the truth. We are helping this connection evolve to see things as they really are and bring life to all that has been hidden. Yep, the player. Their, the, the player lifestyle that wants to find everything that they did has stopped looking enticing ever since they met you. We have children. Children are affecting this connection. Be patient and allow them to resolve things for the highest good of all. So that could be a, a factor as well. Dark side and that too. They have a dark side that no one knows and feels it's their true side but too afraid to show you. Mm. Clarify divine truth. We have gossip. Ooh, so this person's starting to see that what they were told about you or what they heard about you wasn't true or that people were like, tell, yes, yeah, there were people around them like manipulating them or telling them false truths or something or like false truths. Is that what I'm trying to say? There's a lot of um, false truth. There was, they were lying to them. That's what I'm trying to say. There's a lot of gossip that surrounds this relationship that is affecting not only their judgment, but their vision too. Yeah, they're starting to see the truth about things. They have some toxic people around them. Um, and they couldn't see things for what they were. Okay. Especially the, the, the people that they had around them were, were options. Like people they were sleeping with, dating, messing around with, whatever. Yeah, release. So it says when they were set you free, they felt the sting from your absence. Don't let their silence fool you. Mm -hmm. They don't even want anybody else but you. Nope. What about children? We have C, lustful desires. I kind of was told, I was telling you that this person maybe either got themselves into a situation where they, they, they were being lustful. They hooked up with somebody who could have got a kid with them. Or it could be that they have some childhood wounds that have like led to them being like in this overly lustful energy. But it says there is a difference between love and lust. Don't let, there, don't let your desire destroy you. Overcome the spirit of lust. Huh. Clarify dark side because yeah we had children and dark side and we have resurrection yeah I was kind of getting that with the judgment card what you thought to be lost forever will come back and you'll witness the impossible made possible what is children family see there is something here there's cultural differences different values beliefs or traditions that pose a challenge to this connection yeah new perspective 
their family could be the gospers. New perspective. They've gained a new perspective and now see how they failed you by their own sabotaging behaviors. Yeah, they're leaving a situation. They're leaving the all that is familiar to them or a long-term relationship to start a brand new life with you. It's like they're rethinking or re, how do you say that? Rebuilding or reforming their entire belief system. You can expect to, some kind of gesture to help strengthen your connection, give them a chance to prove themselves. Yeah, coming apart. This person is like shedding who they were raised to be. That traumatized inner child that they have. They're like, they're shedding that person since meeting you. You've been a catalyst for someone to like, because who they are right now is a result of like something that happened within their family or when they were a kid. And then also because they're still surrounded by those same people. But it says meeting you was unexpected. You changed their whole world forever, feeling lost as they lose their old identity. Yeah, it's like they're, they're coming into a new self. Yeah, despite the distance between you, they feel the energetic cores that is keeping you two connected. Somebody is a little bit, um, not even a little bit. They are in heavy regret. Um, they regret leaving you out in the cold. They regret leaving you behind or whatever they did. Um, they are kind of feeling like you've lost hope in them. They're kind of feeling a little bit hopeless as well. But I do think you will hear from them. The divine is guiding them to reach out to you. Yeah, so they want to message you and explain everything to you, but they know they have to do right by you. Yeah, you have met your divine flame. Just follow signs to your soul and everything will occur in divine timing. This person's realizing that they were too focused on like money, stability, security, comfort, um, that they've been sacrificing like love. Like they haven't had actual genuine love in their life because they've been too focused. And that could also stem from them having some type of like poverty wound or something like that where they grew up really poor. They grew up with a lot of instability in their life. They grew up with... with Things like that. So, like, as an adult, they've, they've prioritized those types of things. Like, having financial stability and having, like, comfort, stability, normalcy over having, like, true love and fulfillment and happiness. And they're kind of breaking out of that now. Because this person was, yeah, they've been sacrificing their happiness and fulfillment, love, to be just comfortable and to have something stable, to have some type of foundation or structure in their life, even though it's been toxic. But look, they're leaving that situation. I'm going to reread that card. It says they're leaving all that is familiar to them or a long-term relationship to start a brand new life with you. They've been holding on to what they know and what's, what's normal to them or what's familiar to them. And unfortunately, it's not good. But I think that they're starting to see that how not, how not good that is since meeting you. You have triggered this person to look at everything differently. And to gain a new perspective. And they're not seeing how they're like, they're very self-sabotaging. And they failed this, they failed you, they failed this connection. Um, um, 